All right, hey there, YouTubers, and mainly for the thrift store fans, here's another uh, conglomeration of a bunch of trips to my local thrift store. This is a three-drawer tub that's about three feet tall. Uh, if we get closer, it's a little dirty. I'm going to clean it up, but it was in good shape. Nothing broken, nothing cracked, all that kind of stuff. It's probably just in somebody's garage and needs some cleaning. It was 25% off of 13 bucks, so what's that, $9.75? I think that's a pretty good deal. I looked online, and these are like 45 bucks is about the closest comparable price I could find. But as we see, it's dirty. Let's clean it up. Okay, moving on. This is, uh, I've kind of wanted one of these to fiddle with for a while. The perfect tortilla, you know, you can put a tortilla in there and bake it. And, uh... This was two and a quarter on sale day, of course, and there's four of them in there. I don't know about you, but they look like they were never used. Somebody got them as a gift probably and said, oh, thank you, and then it ended up in the thrift store. I'm going to keep probably two of them, and I know somebody that would like the other two, so at two and a quarter, I think that's a good deal. And I saw them online for about 13 bucks, so uh, two and a quarter is pretty good. What are these? These are brand new from the thrift store at 17 bucks, which you do the math on that, and that makes them 12.75. And you look online for new, and they range. Jeans are weird because they range in price, anywhere from like 25 to 50 bucks for a pair of 505s, but brand new, never worn. Another thing was, uh, even though we got some snow today, these uh, shorts might come in handy and I'm ready to have warmer weather and get out there in the RV. But um, again, tag still in them, never worn, and they were 99 cents. Were they more? They were originally $6.99. So they sat there long enough that somebody marked them down to 99 cents. Pretty awesome. I like that $6 savings. <laughs> All right, here's something stupid. All right, this is uh, like one of those help kids learn how to swim things. So I'm not a kid, so why would I need this? My idea for this was when you're messing on your RV, you need to kneel down, you need to get underneath it or something like that. A nice, light, soft foam pad could be good. If you're messing with your RV, you got to crawl around and do stuff more often than you want to believe. And uh, that could help save the knees. And it also has this old, you know, this bag, which could be a laundry bag. I already have a laundry bag. But this is another one. This was, uh, okay, I paid nine cents for it. I didn't pay nine cents. I paid 25% off of nine cents. They originally wanted a dollar for it. So I got this for about seven cents. Seven cents might save my knees. Okay, the next thing was a bunch of knives for three bucks. I need some new knives. If there's one in here that's decent, might be uh, helpful. I'll probably end up doing another video of sharpening up these knives. Or just sharpening up knives. But that's a pretty long knife. I don't think any of them are obviously high quality knives, but a little like Ginsu or whatever the heck it is. There you go. Again, I don't know the value of any of these. They they don't they don't feel like quality knives. And I what I expected. This is a pretty good one. Emperor Steel. I might look them up and see what they're worth. This is another one. Decent knives. They're not falling apart. Some of them are relatively sharp. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, they need sharpened, but I mean, I could take and cut them with them right now. So we got uh, five knives there for three bucks. And I look at it this way. If I find one or two that I like, that's a pretty good deal. All right. But we'll see about sharpening them up. So I just checked eBay real quick. These two knives, 20 bucks for these two. Apparently they're decent knives, and this one was like 14 bucks. I'm not looking to sell them, but 
I didn't buy total junk. Okay, I don't think these are great, great knives, but they're decent knives, and they're pretty old. They would be considered vintage, but, you know, the steel comes all the way through. It is stainless steel. And I'm not a chef. I like to cook from time to time, but finding a, a knife that feels good in your hand and works for you, that's the best thing you can do. So a lot of people will go out and spend hundreds of dollars on fancy chef knives. These are going to be in an RV or in a house where, you know, I just mess around. I'm not a cook cook. But I think pretty good deal, three bucks for all five of those knives. But I didn't find the holy grail of knives or anything like that. All right, moving on. Next was this grab bag thing that was 75 cents on sale. So let's see what all's in here. I saw a couple things that made me go, oh, that's worth it. All right, these are those air freshener things. There was a couple of those. Maybe I could use some air freshener. This is, uh, looks like the, uh, the eyepiece for maybe a telescope or, or something. That is a door handle. <laughs> Two of them. You know, like for a pull, a pull of a flashlight. Uh, PlayStation cartridge. <laughs> they just threw a bunch of crap. I saw this little flashlight. Get some batteries in it, see if it works. Oh, it wants a lot. You're not going to get a test because I don't have that many on hand. A light wall plate. All right, and a uh, battery charger. Let's see if that works. It's just a grab bag for 75 cents. They put some screws in there. A little bag of screws. All right. And a pair of nail clippers. So, 75 cents. Sometimes you just buy junk. <laughs> but if this works at 75 cents, that's worth the whole thing. Even if everything else gets thrown away. And a pair of nail clippers. Okay, and then the next things are Pampered Chef. You're like, why did this guy buy these Pampered Chef? Well, i got a friend who's been really, really envious. And uh, 75 cents for the small one. And 29 cents for the larger one. And it's 29 cents because there's some... Uh, I know it was used in this area because the water's crap here and there's some calcium staining on it. But some vinegar and baking soda should get that off. And again, it was 29 cents... And before that, it was a buck and a half. So that's a pretty good deal. Some people hate the thrift store. I'm getting to where I, I'm, I'm going to have to admit I go too much. But this is, uh, I go on sale days. And this is, again, an amalgamation of a bunch of sales. But um, I try to buy things that are actually going to be useful. You know, everybody needs a pair of jeans, right? A pair of jeans for less than half price. Brand new, never worn, shorts the same way. Um, kitchen stuff, I mean, I love these things. And now somebody will stop bugging me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll feel good to help somebody out who's been looking for these themselves. Because, um, let's, let's look at this again. The large one, uh, I found online, 20 bucks. Brand new, you're going to pay 20 bucks for that. The smaller one, online, 17.60. This was 29 cents for the large one. This was 75 cents for the small one. I think those are pretty darn good savings. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. That's my thrift store hauls for the last month or so. And um, I put these on there because some, I think, just like to look at it. And then other people, you know, life's expensive. And when you've found yourself on a tighter budget than you used to be, going to a thrift store to find some stuff you might need and some stuff you might sort of kind of need or some things that will make friends happy. A thrift store is a great way to go. So, have a great and wonderful day. And if you like the thrift store, get out there. There are deals to be found. Again, people always ask. This is Valley Thrift. and They are part of the Vietnam Veterans of America who apparently have stores all over the country. So check out in your local area. And there might be one near you where you find close to, if not even better, deals. Okay, again, have a great and wonderful day. Oh, here's a PS. There's that shelf all cleaned up. It doesn't look brand new, but it looks pretty darn good. 
lot better than 45 bucks. All cleaned up. Thrift stores, I'm telling you.